Hello, and welcome to the pet room. I'm continue to tidy, continuing to tidy things up. Right now, I'm going to take this head off. I'm going to put this other one on. I got this at the school that I should be working at, but that's a whole other story. I'm going to give my Dallas Mavericks head a chance to rest. I'll put it up here. I shall hear one of those magical things that came with an SX-64. That, um, well, it came with a couple empty boxes, good for holding discs, that kind of went over the handle, and you could carry it. There it is. The Commodore bag from the SX-64. This, too, is a good thing. I'll put it up here on the 8010 modems. Now, why do I have this here? Well, I don't know. Perhaps that would be a good thing to recycle. Oh, here is another power bar. Power bars are good. I'm going to, because I will be plugging things in here, I'm going to tuck this between these two pets so it's right handy. And here is a module X10 powerhouse. These are the things I use to turn on lights remotely. This one there is, excuse me, it's an appliance module. It's an, only a two-pronged thing. It can be used for lights, but then they can't be dimmed. It is quite wonderful. Oh, there's the thing I was looking for. There we go. See, once in a while, the controller thing that does these things, it can be fooled because the way it actually transmits is on the power line. So if there's a little bit of a quiver or something on the power lines, things can happen. These are good. I will be hooking up more of them. There's also, yes, there's a bell here. Um, oh, looky here. Hang on. Oh, it is a disc launcher for five and a quarter inch discs. Absolutely essential. Controversial, but essential. Okay. I will set that on this pet here. Now. Also here, as I set some of the mail that I'm trying not to look at aside, I have a light. Now, is this light hooked up? It seems it is not. This is a cool little light. I got it at a thrift store. I'm just trying to get the cord out of here before I hurt anything. Oh, it is plugged in. Hmm, that's weird. It's plugged in, but nothing is happening. Well, I'll see about that. Just a moment. Oh, now there is here, and I figure I'm probably going to get rid of this. You may be able to hear oh, a bit of a buzzing noise. There is a big, beautiful power bar that I have here that I very much like, but it's been buzzing. And who knows, maybe that means there's something wrong. This light is kind of cool. It's like a little miniature stage light. You can aim it here and there. But it was plugged in. It was not doing anything. So I'm going to switch it to this other power bar thing and turn it on. Ah, uh, Penny. And now... It is lit up like a little miniature stage light. I can use it to light myself if I were so inclined. I could do that. Here, oh, here is a hat. I should put this maybe in the wash. It is autism awareness. Maybe I should wear that to work. Let me see. How's it look? It's not bad. I'll put it up with a Dallas Mavericks hat. Oh, except it fell. I'll put it in the rotation. I shall. And here, oh, this is another valuable thing. It is a power supply for an 8010 modem. So, you know, oh. All right, I was going to put it in the box with the other ones, but the box is kind of covered. So, I will not do that. Right, Penny? Maybe I will shuffle this back. I did find also a uh, Penny's brush which I have been hunting for, so I will see 
about brushing her a little wee bit. Here, oh, here's another module for X10 things. Although this one says Home Decorator Appliance Module by IBM. It's the same thing. This one is a three pronger. This is also an appliance module. It has um, both plug. I mean, you plug it in and you plug the thing into it, and then you can control it with the controller. It too is quite magical, and I know that I will be doing things with these. So I'm going to stick this one in this one, and that one in that one, and I'm going to put it with the power bar between these two pets. I will. Now, what else is here? Oh, here it looks like a wayward charger and cord that probably shouldn't have been plugged in for so long. I do believe this charger. And this thing will do well after I have drained the batteries on these things. Um, the Bluetooth things. And this one, this little wee cord, I think is much the same. I think, I think if I were to grab one of these things... And see about putting it in. It would fit. You know what? I'll just leave it stuck in that one. All right. Oh, here is something lovely that I should keep on hand. I have a charger here that I have used many, many times to go when I go to movie things and stuff to recharge my phone, but it is going a little wonky. Now, if I push on this one. Do I see anything? Not at this... Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, yeah. So it still has a bit of a charge to it. I'm going to put that here. This stuff doesn't need to be here. But right now it is here, so it's here. So I'm going to see about um, having all such things in, a, in location. And I'll have it with my movie stuff. And I can, you know, be ready. Look, it's another disc notcher. I'll put that up also on this pet because you just never know. Now, let's see if I can get this. Here is something that does not need to be here. A plastic Coke bottle. But yet it is here. And here's a bag. Oh, what that bag? Oh, okay. Hang on here. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't know what this is. Okay. Okay, I know what this is. I might have trouble here. Okay, here. Ah. This keyboard for an Amiga. It is also badly yellowed. It is a candidate to sit in the sun. But i got to be careful when I do these things so I don't forget about them and then leave them, especially when there's still good stuff in here. Um, it certainly could use a good cleaning. It, too... So you just like the power supply there for the 8010 modem it has five things so you got to be careful make sure you know what you're doing before you plug things in i suppose what i could do and i might do is take this apart to clean it you see the bottom is not bad compared to the top for yellowness so what i may end up doing is taking the top off and taking it separately and leaving it out in the sun because without chemicals and such, the sun will do great things for this. But for this moment, I think I'll tuck this under here with that apple thing and the 128. And hope that nothing falls. Okay, nothing has fallen. All right, well here, I don't know why exactly. Here's a Ziploc bag. I was probably using it when I was doing... 40, 40 things. Probably. Oh. Okay, now, oh, this should not be sitting here unattended and getting dusty. This is a lens, or an extension of a lens that goes on my favorite camera of all time. It does. Let's see if I take this off. I wonder where the other part is. If I take this off and look in here, do we see anything? Well, maybe. Possibly. Anyway, i got to be careful with this. 
and I should have another part. I gotta find my camera bag, I gotta put this away. But this would be to give a wider angle. And probably I had this out when I was filming, not filming, but shooting the family portrait. Probably, 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 probably. So I think I gotta put this in my very safe. Because the one cover is not on. You know what? I'm gonna put it on this hat I was wearing earlier in the box with all the buttons. And if you hear that little whiny noise, that's the power bar that I think is gonna go. So I wanna see a difference in lighting? Hang on. There. No light. Light. This is my little stage light thing. Cool. Anyway, that buzzing power bar, I think, I will probably take out of action. For one thing, the buzzing is annoying. But also, you know, is there something inside there that's gone bad? Is it a risk? Is it a hazard? I don't know. But I will see what I can see. I will. So right now, behind me here, we have some level, oh, perhaps a bit of tidiness. Oh, and my phone. Um, I wonder if this one is working. I'm having internet troubles. Oh, I guess this is working okay. I guess it is. I guess. But anyway, but this phone. It's funny, this is my iPhone 6. And it has issues about charging. And I think what's happened is inside either it needs a good cleaning or... The connector inside is a little wonky and a little loose. And if I get it in just the right position, like right there, it's okay. It is. Here is something. There, there's a hobby shop that was close to me that closed. I should have taken a picture. I should remember the name. Is it on here? No, it is not. But I did get this. I had asked them about this, and they actually got it in not long before they closed up. What is it? It's a syringe of oil. What is it called? Hobby Lube Premium with state of the art lubric lubricant act yeah, lubricant additives. Cool. So in other words, somebody takes some oil, puts it in a little thing like this, and makes a whole bunch of money on it. Because it has the little syringe thing. I have not actually had this open. I don't know if there's something special I have to do to have it work. Like, is there a little thing here that I have to pop? I will probably find out that there is not. Okay, there is not. So it's all good. So we put it down. Now, the reason I got this was mostly for the 4040s. And it is a beautiful, magical thing. And you know what? Andrew is home. Hello, Andrew. I'm just recording, but I'm just about finished. So, Penny went a-running, the phone is charging, and it's time to cook. So thanks for coming to the pet room. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.